Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. As most of you know, this is the session for PhD admissions. There have been a few universities which have already conducted their PhD admissions in the last 3 or 4 months and a few more which are yet to conduct their PhD admissions in the upcoming 2 or 3 months. Therefore, I thought now would be a really good time to talk about my experience of appearing in phd interviews in my limited time now i would like to mention in this context that i appeared for one interview for phd in the year 2019 at the university of calcutta and after that all the phd interviews that i have appeared for have been in the year 2021 except the one in 2022 january which was a two or three days back and in the year 2019 i had a different proposal and now i have a different proposal with this in mind i thought about sharing my insights what happened with me in those interviews what questions were asked in each of them what obstacles i faced while going through them so that after listening to this you might have a better idea of what kind of questions or queries you might expect to find when you are appearing for a phd interview yourself So let's begin. In the year 2019 just a few days after my MPhil interview at Delhi in fact just one day after my MPhil interview at Delhi was on uh, 6th or 7th September and the very next day was my um, PhD interview at the University of Calcutta I had to take a flight to catch the next one and at that point of time i was planning to do my phd on a similar topic on which i had done my mphil something related to the ideas of translation in the works of shottojit ray and shukumar ray and i had appeared for an phd interview at the university of calcutta department of english in this context i would like to mention that all my interviews have been held at the department of english except the one at iit kharagpur which was at the department of humanities and social sciences but it was conducted by the faculty members of the department of english itself so in that interview uh, in 2019 i was asked a few questions most importantly why i have chosen shottojit ray as the primary author for my dissertation and i was asked to defend how an author like shottojit ray would suit a full fledged phd thesis since he is known more as a filmmaker and as far as his writing is concerned he was more of a children's author than an adult author i don't think i did a very good job of answering that question in addition i was asked a question on why i have chosen those three particular primary texts two were novels by shottojit ray feluda novels and one was abol tabol by shukumar ray obviously in 2019 i had very little idea of what to do with a phd proposal or a phd presentation at the admission stage it can be said with certain amount of surety that now i know a little better of course when i look back at my 2019 proposal it doesn't sound very right or presentable to me so the questions which were asked to me were pretty legit in my opinion but the one lesson that i took away from that interview at calcutta university in 2019 september was that once you choose a phd topic you have to stick to it in the interview no matter what questions are asked to you you cannot falter and say no i am not very sure about it or i have to think about it more of course you can say this about your methodology or about your process of research but the primary texts that you have chosen you have to stick to them you have to prepare a proper ground on which you would build your primary texts up you would have to defend your choice of primary texts really well and then you have to comment on their relevance in the present day contemporary research scenario for that i would recommend you take a look at shodhganga which is the national Depo repository of all phd theses published and completed in india for the last many years if you go to that website you will see what kind of theses are being completed every year and then you can get an idea of what they are about and then you can decide that this kind of a work would be acceptable and this kind of a work might not be acceptable in many places the next interview which i had 
was in 2021 in the month of august or september i don't exactly remember but it was at bishop bharati many people uh, know that bishop bharati is a university where the department of english is well known for its tagore studies and my second topic is focused on an intersectional understanding of tagore and psychoanalysis so i thought bishop bharati would be a very good fit for my work and therefore i applied for there and was called for the interview in this context i would like to mention that on many months ago i did make a video on everything about phd admissions in india in case you have not watched that video i will give a link to it somewhere upside so that you can go ahead and check it that will give you a brief on what to do and what not to do what to expect what not to expect in case you haven't already watched it but in that interview i faced another problem the problem which i faced was i did not consider the fact that that place was actually the best place possibly in india to do tagore studies i had taken a very small section of tagore's works as my primary texts and what happened in that interview was they asked me questions about other parts of tagore which were not there in my primary texts and since they were not my primary texts i was not very comfortable answering those questions and i even got a couple of questions wrong or so i think because they were interpretative questions so i assume i answered them incorrectly because i did not see the evaluators very satisfied with my answers and even when the results came out i did not fare very well in that interview panel either so when you are preparing your primary texts or secondary texts you have to keep in mind that there is a peripheral world around it there would be texts which are written by the same author or texts in and around the same area which you have to take into consideration before you go for a phd viva that is an admissions viva of course now you might ask why do i need to do that if i already knew everything why would i be doing a phd of course i'm not asking that you should know everything but you should have a brief idea of the around and about of the topic which you are covering for example if you are working on victorian women writers limited to a victorian perspective even in that case you must know about mad women in the attic this is just an example i can give more but that would make the video unnecessarily lengthy what i am trying to say is that you have to know about the predominant kind of research which is being done on that topic even if it is not related to your area because those kind of questions might come your way another thing which people often assume is that if your interview has to go well then you have to correctly answer all the questions which is not really a correct assumption in my opinion you can get one or two questions incorrect that's absolutely fine in fact they actually expect that you won't get all of them right so the one thing that i learned from the bishop bharati interview was that once you read your primary texts well enough you have to read the periphery very thoroughly as well coming to my third interview at iit kharagpur which was on 23rd november 2022 that interview did not go well let me tell you right at the onset because i was under the presumption that i must present a topic there which would suit the present faculty members research areas of interest therefore i took a new proposal there which was about tv shows but they did not like the proposal and when they were asking about my publications they saw this paper on tagore which was a publication of mine and which i am now trying to develop into a phd they asked about that topic and then they showed interest in it and then they asked me why i was not presenting that as my phd primary uh, proposal to which i answered that i was under the assumption that i was only supposed to present a topic which was aligning to the areas of interests of the present faculty members of the department to my surprise they said that there was no such rule and they were pretty shocked that i expected them to not be very receptive towards this topic and i think it was it did not go well because i they had asked me to present my second proposal which they liked but they did not like the fact that i did not present it right away so this is what i had learned from the iit kharagpur interview and finally this monday i had my interview at the university of delhi learning from the three experiences i had in the past this interview surprisingly went well for me there was nothing which uh, i found as an obstacle 
uh, whatever I learned in the previous interviews, I tried to implement them in this one and uh, they asked me questions which I thought I answered satisfactorily. So there are, there is of course more to interviews and my experience is very limited. I don't know how many more interviews I have to give until and unless I get one PhD. But uh, this was my experience. I wanted to share it with you people so that you know what to do, what to expect, what you can do, what you cannot do, the rules of specialization and what kind of specialization you have, whether you can modify that, whether you should modify that, whether you should present the same proposal to all the universities or whether you should tweak your proposal for every individual university. These kind of questions often come to your mind and they came to my mind as well. And in my experience, I've shared the pros and cons of the entire process. So thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, queries, doubts or comments, please don't forget to let me know down in the comments. And of course, please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I will see everyone in the next video. Till then, hasta la vista.